Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a different video. Um, today um, it, I'm not going to do a whole video. So uh, what am I going to do is I want to share with you my um, Andoro Naturals uh, collection. I have a lot more products from Andoro Naturals than any other brands. So I want to share with you what I have. I have eight items from Andoro Naturals. Among them, three products are for hair. One is tinted moisturizer, one day cream, and one night cream. And the rest two are, one is mask, and the other one is facial scrub. So let's start from hair product first. The first one is this one. Um, this is Andoro Naturals uh, Lavender and Biotin Shampoo. I bought this product because it says that it can add it can add body and shine to the hair and also um they it emphasize it's called full volume so I'm I was kind of like attracted by this full volume as you can see um I have very thin hair so I uh, basically I'm looking for uh the hair products which can uh, make my hair look fuller this product, it says that can improve uh, the follicle longevity and fertility for healthy hair from roots to tip. It sounds very tempting by just looking at this description. So that's why I bought this product. I have been using it for quite a while, um, at least few months. I can't remember when I bought it. If you want to know when uh, the I buy it, you can go back to my um, iHerb haul videos. Uh, it was in my one of the iHerb uh, haul videos. It was about that time that I bought um, this product. So I remember it's been like quite a while and I have been using it for quite a while as well. Um, basically, there's not much fragrance there. It's very mild, like some citrus uh, fragrance there, but it's very, very mild. Um, I think it, um, and it is clear color, which makes you feel that it is very pure. At the beginning, when I just bought it, um, I, because I was, you know, very desperate, so I used it almost every day. Um, I reckon this product is not good for everyday use because I can feel that my hair gets like oily or my scalp is, uh, I feel a little bit uh, itchy. So I know that it is not for everyday, I mean at least for me. So I changed it to use a couple of times in a week. Um, I usually use like say uh, Monday and Thursday, two days in a week. And the rest of the days, I use um, uh, Beauty with Dog Cruelty's um, Daily Benefit, which is good for everyday use. So um, by doing this way, I feel like I'm okay with it. Like uh, I don't feel any itchy scalp uh, and the hair looks fine. Um, overall, I've been using it for a few months now. I couldn't say that it really improved the volume of my hair. Um, it's about the same, honestly. Um, so, but I don't really hate to use it, and I bought it already, so that's why I keep using it. I'm not sure when I finish this bottle, uh, I will continue um, buy another one or not. But I will keep using it um, until I finish it. The second hair product is this one. Uh, this is thickening spray. So same as the shampoo, I bought this one purely because it says that it is a thickening spray, um, which on the label, it says it adds texture and fullness uh, for thinning hair treatment. So it makes you feel that this um, product can improve the uh, hair uh, thinness. It can make your hair uh, feel fuller. Um, I've been using this one for quite a long time as well. Um, so at least like a few months already. Uh, I'm not using it every day, but at the beginning, I use it every day. Um, honestly, 
I, I couldn't really see any results. Um, and also, if I use it every day, after two or three days, uh, the hair will lose the um, volume because it makes the hair quite um, oily. It's not oil, yeah, it's, it's like um, stick together. So that's why um, I'm not using it every day. This product is not really working on me. But recently, I find something good from this product. I feel that if like, um, how to say, uh, when you blow dry your hair, uh, when it is almost dry, uh, you can spray a little bit on your hair and then you use your hand to uh, slightly massage evenly uh, on the hair. Uh, do not spray a lot, just spray a little bit and then just uh, 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 massage uh, evenly uh, on the hair and then after that you continue use the uh, blow dryer to continue blow dry your hair and to style your hair by doing this way I reckon it did improve the volume a little bit and I stopped doing that uh, but not every day I'm not using it every day I'm using it every alternative day so um, by doing this way, uh, I reckon it did helps me, um, my hair looks nicer a little bit. I'm not sure if I will continue buying this one, but maybe because I still got quite a lot there. Maybe after uh, when I finish that, you know, when you create a habit uh, to, you, to use a product, you will just continue to buy it because you just want to keep using it. So I'm not sure yet. It still got quite a bit inside, so let's see uh, uh, what I will do when I finish this product or maybe by that time I will find another product. The third hair product, uh, it is the hairspray. So this one is uh, a medium hole. Um, among the three hair products, I think I like this one most because um, I was looking for a natural hairspray and this one is a natural hairspray. Um, I think um, Think Dirty rated 4 for this product. Uh, not too good, not too bad, uh, but you know, sometimes it's hard to find a natural product, uh, especially hairspray, so I'm quite happy with it. And as I mean, it is true that this one is medium hole. It can really hold your hair but not like a, a, a very strong hole, but if you just want to uh, maintain the style or the shape after uh, you create that, you can, uh, this one is quite okay for me. But if you go outside, of course, after a while, all the shapes will go. So uh, if you stay inside the house, um, yeah, it, it did like maintain the hair for a while. So I'm quite happy for this one. And I still got quite a lot because I'm not using it every day. Um, I think when I finish that, I will continue by this one. Okay, let's move on to the day cream and the night cream. So um, as you can see, they are pinkish color. So pinkish color is one of the series from Andolo Naturals. It's uh, called 1000 Roses. Uh, this is their 1000 Roses uh, product series. I bought this day cream because it has SPF 18. Um, I like my day cream to have a little bit sun protection. So uh, this one has SPF 18. Uh, I'm quite happy about it. If you open it, the fragrance is quite strong. Um, I hope that it is a natural fragrance, but this is a natural product. So I do hope that it is a natural fragrance. So apart from that, um, the cream is um, white color like the normal um, cream and um, it is quite easy to apply. If you look at my other videos, um, I think I've mentioned many times that I'm actually looking for a day cream which can be a little bit more moisture because I have, I think I have dry skin. I always feel that my skin is very dry, especially after I uh, shifted to uh, natural brands. Uh, I feel like my skin is really, really dry, like like very thirsty. I can feel like I need water, that kind of feeling. So I've been looking out for a natural uh, uh, moisture product for quite a while. Um, before, I've used uh, um, my shell, which it is not improving my dryness. That's one of the ingredients I dislike, so I stopped using that. But this one um, is quite good. Uh, it is quite moisture. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy uh, with it. And the night cream um, is same, um, the fragrance is same, similar 
to the day cream but um, the night cream is not as strong as the day cream and the night cream is like pinkish light pinkish color um oh is it light pinkish or just the bottle makes it light pinkish yeah it is light pinkish it is quite moisture as well so that's why i quite like this um 1000 roses series for the day cream and the night cream another product is this one um, when you look at the bottle they are exactly same but this one is a mask it is rose water mask from the 1000 uh, roses series so um, this one um, I've been almost um, half bottle now so I'm not using it every day um, not even every week I use it when I feel like uh, I have time to do a mask or uh, I need some uh, how to say special treatment for my face then I will um, do a mask I quite like it um, it does like uh, moisture the skin um, and then um, it is very smooth so when you put it on the face you do feel like it is uh, nourishing your skin and it is like giving your skin lots of nutrition waters so I quite like this one usually I just wash my face first and then I put um, evenly put a thin layer on my face and leave it for about 20 minutes and then I will use the water to wash it um, after that I will just put on the uh, night cream yeah so that's what I um, use this product okay the second last one is this one in a green bottle um, this one is uh, the lemon sugar uh, facial scrub this one is really good the particles inside is quite small and smooth and when you like uh, uh, put it on your face and do a facial scrub for a while uh, those small um, tiny um, particles will dissolve after what a while I think I think they may really use the sugar uh, for this product because uh, there was one time that I just by accident I taste taste it uh, and it, when it was on my face and it was really sweet so I was thinking they might really use uh, sugar um, um, in this product. So I quite like this one. Okay, and the last one. The last one is this one. This is Tinta Moisturizer. It's called BB All-in-One Beauty Balm with SPF 30. Um, so I bought this one um, because I want to find a Tinta Moisturizer. Um, sometimes uh, I don't feel like putting on liquid foundation uh, it's, it's kind of like very thick so at the beginning I want to find a tint moisturizer it, I reckon it will be a little bit lighter and it can maybe have a little bit coverage of the um, uh, imperfectness on the face it's not easy to find a clean BB cream as well so uh, when I see this one um, I give it a try because I think Thing Dirty rated it quite good it's either 4 or 6 I can't remember but it is in an acceptable range uh, for me so I bought this one to try I actually made a video to review this product so I think at that time um, my comment wasn't really that um, super positive in the video because the coverage is not really that good but uh, now I have been using it uh, for a lot longer uh, than when I was made that uh, video. I still hold my point that the coverage is not very good. But um, I start getting used to, to it now because it is lighter than the liquid foundation that I'm using now. Um, currently I'm using Inaka's, um liquid foundation. It's kind of like very thick. So um, this is a lot lighter than my liquid foundation and so when I put it on my face it is very comfortable and as I mentioned um, just now I got very dry skin so this one make my skin very comfortable when I put it on because it's the extra moisturizer I still put on the day cream first and then I put on this um, tinted moisturizer so I am kind of like having double protection from the sun um, so this one is with SPF 30 so still um, the coverage is not really that good but uh, it did have a little bit of um, coverage and it did bright, uh, brighten your skin a little bit but the good thing is uh, when I put on this one and then I put on uh, Honeybee Gardens um, 
mineral powder, it will have a good coverage. Like today, um, I use this one uh, first, uh, and then I put um, Honeybee Gardens uh, mineral powder. So this is like a um, natural, normal um, makeup. So most of the day, I will use this one uh, with Honeybee Gardens uh, mineral powder. Of course, if you want a super coverage makeup, uh, you have to use the real um, liquid foundation with the um, uh, powder. So okay, um, that's all for my um, product sharing this time. Uh, I bought all these egg products from um, iHerb. If you are new to iHerb, you can use my reward code. You can get $5 from your first purchase. I will put my reward code here and also I will put my reward code down below. So okay, um, that's all for um, this product sharing. I hope it can help you to understand Andolo Naturals product a little bit more. Um, I know they have a lot more products, but this is not a sponsored video. So I can only choose the products that I really like and uh, I want to use uh, from um, this brand. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.